Hi, I'm Bern Simpson, and this is VR Stereo Photos of Space, Part 2, A Look at Stereoscopic Space Views. This VR video is intended to be viewed in a VR headset uh, to show the space views in 3D. In Part 2, this part, we will be looking at the solar system and Mars. The view here of Earth reminds me that a planet stereo image can be taken from a spacecraft flyby or from the planet's rotation, or even computer mapping a 2D image onto a sphere. This is a special night view of Earth that was prepped without cloud cover. It is from the Worldwide Telescope Software App, a Microsoft research project. There are now a number of software apps that can show solar and stellar views. Uh, for instance, this is Jupiter from one of the software apps. I provided links to several of the software apps in the video description. This is Jupiter as seen from the Cassini Orbiter spacecraft. Notice the black Io moon transit spot. Image credits go to NASA, JPL, and Caltech. This is a little hard to view in stereo. It shows the Io moon transit with Jupiter, with stereo coming from the planet's movement. It was shot by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1997. Here is Jupiter moon Ganymede. The image is from NASA's Galileo orbiter flyby in 1999. This is Mercury from NASA's Messenger spacecraft flyby. And this is a spectacular Saturn stereo image. The twin stereo is from Hubble at two different times. One image was captured in 1998, and the second was captured in November 1999. This is of Venus, visualized from radar images by a flyby of the Magellan spacecraft. And now we're looking at the sun in stereo. In 2006, NASA launched two observatories, one leading and the other trailing the Earth. Their mission was to observe the structure of the sun's coronal mass ejections in 3D. The mission was aptly named Stereo for Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory. Unfortunately, in 2014, NASA lost contact with one of the satellite observatories. Here's a close-up of the solar flare from the previous image. The stereo is a little difficult to merge on this one. The sun stereo images were using false color to show the sun's different temperatures. Notice the solar flare on the lower left. Here's a zoomed-in view of that solar flare. I think it's rather spectacular uh, to be able to see an image like this when one thinks of what's been going on here. This is a comet named Vilt 2. This was shot in 2004 by the NASA Stardust spacecraft with its navigation camera. It was just inside the Mars orbit. This is on the surface of the asteroid Bennu. A NASA mission, OSIRIS-REx, was to retrieve a sample of the asteroid, asteroid Bennu. In 2020, October, the NASA spacecraft touched down on the asteroid surface and actually collected a sample. It is expected to be back at Earth uh, 2023. Here's Mars Phobos moon. This was shot by the European Space Agency with the Mars Express probe using its high-resolution camera. It was at a distance of 200 kilometers. Shown here is Mars rotating in stereo. The 2D views were shot from the NASA Viking spacecraft and provided by the NASA Scientific Visualization Studio Group. The 3D views I created by time offsetting one of the sides of the stereo movie. And here we are on Mars. 
This is from the lander of the Pathfinder mission in 1997, a, the first NASA Mars mission. The rover, named Sojourner, was a robotic rover that landed in the Eras Velas region to explore Mars. Sojourner rover is on the size of about half a meter, about this large. This is the landing foot of the Pathfinder. Here is the rover Sojourner on Marscape. It shows some of the rocks it had to navigate. We're now in 2004 when NASA landed twin rovers, uh, our rovers Opportunity and Spirit, on Mars at different locations. This is the Opportunity rover tracks from the lander in the distance. The, Mars ex it's, the mission itself was called MIRS for Mars Exploration Rovers. These rovers are on the order of about one and a half meters. Here again is the Opportunity rover tracks, but in color. The images by the rover were taken in black and white and with color filters. And then later, the filtered images were combined for color. This is back to the 1997 Pathfinder mission. A high-resolution stereo image was shot of the Marscape. In the distance, the twin peaks are modest-sized hills and they're to the south southwest of the Mars Pathfinder landing. Here's a close-up of the left side. It shows one peak and some of the rocks on Marscape. This is now from the 2004 Mir Spirit rover at the rim of Bonneville crater. It's rather intriguing to see blue-tip rocks there. Here's another shot from the Spirit panoramic camera. This photo is of dunes lining the floor of the engineering's crater. This is now from the Opportunity rover. Here's a space view from Mars Express spacecraft by the European Space Agency. The view is of Tithonium Chasma, which is a major canyon on Mars. And here is the face on Mars in the Sidonia region. It is by the European Space Agency's Mars Express spacecraft. The stereo pair was captured from orbit at different times, and the stereo image was prepped from a web anaglyph image. And this is the end of part two VR stereo photos of space do look for part three stereo views of the Space Shuttle International Space Station and Earth views from space. Thank you for watching.